Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my corner of the internet. My name once again is Jason, and today we're back with some more Elder Scrolls Arena. So we basically just arrived in this town, of which I can't remember the name, Corinth, right. We're in Corinth now, and um, I'm looking for a place to stay because my fatigue is incredibly low. So let's probably just, uh, let's break into one of these houses. Let's, uh, let's pick this one here. Looks nice and sh shabby. Um... There was a door beside me there, but I, I don't care. There's a light. There's lights on inside, but, um... Oh, there's the door. I was like, where is the door? You laugh at the amateur quality of this lock. All right. Oh, we got some plants. Nice. All right, so basically I broke into this, uh, this house. And, uh, I'm looking for a place to sleep in the house. So, okay, this appears to be a storage room because it's got barrels. Okay, that's not where the door... Oh, that's where the door opens. Got a really confusing uh, layout here. Uh, table. So I guess this is where they eat and such. Uh, maybe the bedrooms are upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Wide open space. More supplies. I got the feeling this isn't even a house. Oh. Nope, but it has loot. I'm cool with that. Uh, so anyways, um, I decided against, uh, doing the editing just because, um, what the, okay. Uh, uh one user, uh, he just made a comment, uh, who is it, uh, if I mispronounce the names, please, uh, forgive me, but, oh, I'll get to that in a second. Why do you choose to align against me when it is obvious that I will destroy you? Even as each piece of the staff comes into your possession, it becomes easier to find you. And I have done just that. Face my creatures if you dare. I am through toying with you. Now, we saw what happened last time he sent something at me. And it was not a pretty sight. He, the guy owned me. So, right off the bat, hit Spam C. So that I can engage Spellbreaker Light. Then put some distance between me and, ah. He sent some sort of wizard after me. Well, Mr. Mrs.? I can't... Mr. Mrs.? I'm gonna go with Mrs. Because th that looks... Yes. Um... Well, Mrs. Wizard, uh, you are now paralyzed, and yes, you are definitely a Mrs. I was expecting that weird little sort of gargoyle thing from last time, but um, uh, I don't know. If this is him not toying with me, then I really don't have much to worry about, do I? Alright, so th there was no bed in there. We need to find a place that looks more like a an actual house. Um... Let's see here, do you look more like a house? No, you look like some sort of creepy establishment. But let's uh, break in and see, anyways and see what's in here. But anyways, uh, like I said, once again, I, I'm... There are so many different, we'll say, uh, nationalities, languages, and ways of pronouncing things, just depending on your geographic location. If I mispronounce something, it is not meant to be... Uh, well, I, I don't mean any offense, I'm sorry, but... Um, and I gotta, I gotta stop putting these disclaimers at the beginning of every time I say uh, someone's name. Um, e e Egon Olson, Egon Olson, 71, said that, um, there's no need for me to c cut the videos, and I take that as, he finds me, I guess, at least not as annoying as I might find myself, or, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm making a bigger deal out of this than I really need to be. Anyways, as such, there will be no cuts, unless someone can make a case as to why I need to make cuts, which I already did last time, but, eh, ah, here we go. Nice, lush, royal bed. What the? Where am I? Am I in the ground? I had a little bit of graphical glitching there. Alright, so we will rest until fully healed. Uh, so that's uh, 11 hours, and it is current. Lee, 6.53 in the morning. So let's go on out and see the sunrise. Oh, I'm sorry I broke into your house and killed you. It was an accident. How did you sneak into the room? That was amazing! I don't even think there was a closet in there! Where were you hiding? Oh, there was a closet. Ah! Always check the closets. Reminds me of, um... What's that movie? Oh, uh, Last Action Hero! Uh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Basically, it's a big playoff uh, parody of... Well, say, the action films of the time. And at one point, he walks into his apartment and basically just walks in and, like, puts some bullets through the, the closet door. And this guy falls out dead. And uh, the kid who's with him, he's like, how did you know he was in there? And Arnold looks at him, he's like, there's always someone in there. So, uh, I, I might be paraphrasing his statement, but he's like, there's always a guy in there. Something like that. 
I don't know, for some reason that reminded me of that. Call it the ADHD mind. Actually, it's more of an ADD, I think, because I'm not physically hyper. Anyways, as you can tell, I, I tend to, uh, my mind definitely does jump all over the place. But I need to know, uh, kind sir, where the nearest store might, no, no, uh, Mage's Guild, I need to identify stuff. I look southeast of here. Thanks. But, uh, uh, wait, no, I don't need any more rumors. Actually, why not? General. Just business as usual in Corinth, I guess. Well, who are you? I'd like to n get to know the people I talk to. We haven't met, have we? No, that's why I'm asking who you are. I'm Zemed Tabak Mani, the butcher. I just delivered some great looking mutton. All right. Good job. Carry on. Carry on. Southeast, you think, I think he said, right? Yes. I, I love days like this where I'm, I, I'm feeling very, uh, I, you know, I saw the Mages Guild off in the distance. I don't know why I need to ask for directions. But yeah, I, I love days like this where I'm feeling very high energy and excited and I can really, uh, we'll say, put my best foot forward and I, I actually be, you know, without slurring my words together because I tend to do this mumbling thing where I try to speak faster than I am actually capable of doing. But anyways, I'm going to get back on topic where I'm actually able to be somewhat entertaining. At least, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming I'm entertaining because, you know, People are still coming to my channel, and they're still watching my videos, so I'm assuming that's a sign that I'm doing something right, but I don't know. People might just be pointing and laughing. Anyways, the door to the Mage's Guild opens with a puff of dust that sticks to the sweat on your sunburned face. I got sunburn already? How did I get sunburn? I was... Okay, anyways. The smells of sulfurous potions burning in ancient scrolls of moldering parchment sting your nose. At least it is cool in here, you say to yourself. Now, I'm wondering, is that uh, different depending on the season? Because I'm assuming so. Yeah, okay, let me see, what's the date? The date is mid of mid-year. So mid-year, I'm assuming, would be, what, around July-ish? Uh, uh, by our calendar? So yeah, it's a summer month. That's... I, I wonder if it's the same everywhere. You know, the, the, the text changes to reflect the current... Um, the season. That'd be really cool. I, I gotta come back to elsewhere uh, during the winter months and see if it, it looks any different outside as well. I, I love that touch. That's something that's uh, very much so missing from, uh, let's say, some of, the, some, of, some of the later games here. And I completely forgot I had a quest to turn in here. I see you have recovered the stone tablet, Alexis. I trust Sir Galandir and his knights did not, you know, permanent harm. Now for my part of the bargain. Wait a moment while I get my notes. Turamain gets a leather pen and then peers intently at the tablet. A few moments later, he inscribes the location of the Halls of Colossus, somewhere in the province of Elsewhere, onto your map. It was like kind of a strangely structured sentence. I don't think it was necessarily wrong. Anyways, let's go to Detect Magic because I... Oh, no, nothing's color-coded. Wonderful. Well, I, I can assume that all these belts are probably not identified, so I can tell you that is magical, but it will cost, if that wasn't magical, but it will cost you 37 gold. All right, sure. Oh no, no, I'm not stealing yet. <laughs> I like how I had to add the, the word yet on there. So I got um, this mark, 300 gold. Crystal. I like how, uh, how uh, identifying is can be so expensive. Like, it's like you need to have money to make money. It's almost like it's like real life or something. Ugh. Realistic games. The nerve of it all. Got a couple elven belts. Um, another belt. And, uh... I think... Oh, no, there's a torque. Forgot the torque. You know, I've still not looked up what a friggin' torque is. I'm like, what is a torque? All right, let me look in my inventory, make sure there's nothing left that is blue. Um, let's see, buckler, buckler, dwarven saber of endurance. The only reason that's red is because it's broken. Uh, steel saber, that is also broken. Why did I hang on to a broken saber? I'm, more, I'm already going to be testing this. Okay. Ebony Longsword. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Wizard's Fire. Zero charges left. Of Heal True. I don't need that, honestly. 
Um, I don't need both the crystal and bracers of sanctuary. So I'll just keep the bracers. I'll get rid of the crystal later. Uh, Mithril belt, belt of luck, elven belt, adamantium belt. I think the adamantium belt is worse than the myth, mi worse than the mithril belt. I think so. Let me double check. I have to unequip one. No, it's not. I'm wrong. So the mithril belt brings, let's see, 18, 18, 19, 19. I take that off and I put on the adamantium belt and I get 19, 19, 20, 20. Hmm. Definitely better. We will go with this one. So I can get rid of the mithril belt at this point. Um, let's see. What about elven belt? I'm pretty sure elven is not as good. Yeah. I got two adamantium. Oh, yeah, yeah I could just right click. That would have been an easy way of doing it. I just right click on, uh, let's say, for example, mithril belt, and it tells me minus three to AR. Uh, and then I look at. The uh, Elven Belt, minus one to AR. Adamantium Belt is minus four to AR. So yeah, I could have just done that rather than, you know, stuff. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we got everything we want identified, identified. It's time to go sell some things. And I want to, yeah, that's right. Did I hang on to the saber because I wanted to see if I could sell it? Let's see. Buckler, what's the condition of this buckler? You know what? Let's uh, let's switch bucklers and sell the, the the top one. It's pretty beat up. All right, time to go selling things and then buying things. Oh wait, uh, no wait, I don't have enough inventory room. Darn it! I'll be back to steal stuff from your shelves, guy. Expect me. He's like, all right, Alexis, see you later. All right. His voice totally changed from when he was talking. All right. Um. Uh, I, I love how I keep checking my map as if it's going to tell me. Oh, yes, there's a shop here. Even though I haven't asked where a shop is. Uh, you, lady, stop running away from me. No, aha. Yes. I'd like to know where the nearest shop is. Nearest store. I'm pretty sure that's northwest of here. I would like to get to know you, but I'm busy. I don't want to spend too much time in town. There's adventuring to be done. And, um... Oh, that's right, there, uh, he inscribed that location on my map. However, we're not going there next. Oh no, we're gonna go hunt down the Ogma Infinium, which is in uh, Skyrim, I believe. The basic weaponry store. Well, this sounds like the most generic store ever. <laughs> Good for the basic weaponry store, happy to be out of the summer heat. Many items of interest hang on the walls and in the display case in front of you. Hello, Rambo the Blacksmith. Um. Oh man, I don't have the name handy. Someone may I, I could figure out what he looked like, and I was like, oh, he reminds me of somebody. I can't tell. Um, and and I, I wonder if a viewer whose name I regrettably have forgotten, and I'm not going to bother looking it up right now because I'm recording. But um, you know who you are, and I shall give you a thumbs up. And if I remember to write your name down, I will thank you personally and such. Anyways, Buckler. I'm probably 100 years old, that Buckler. I can't give you more than one gold for it, all right? All right, so, um, <laughs> I want you to know this is the most I've ever paid for such a buckler. Still ready to sell? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, the steel saber. Sorry, pal, I'm not interested in that. All right, so if something is broken, just, just toss it. Uh, let's go ahead and repair. Now, I don't believe I've actually shown this off. The dwarven saber of endurance. I really liked this saber, but it's broken, so we need to fix it. So I click on it, and he says, fixing that Dwarven Saber of Endurance is no problem. It'll take 10 days, and it'll cost 45 gold. Sound fair? That is actually a lot shorter than I was expecting for a magical item. But okay, 10 days. That means I'm going to have to go adventuring for 10 days and then come back and get it. Which is fine, because we're going to go get the Ogma Infinium, and when, by the time we come back, before we go to the next, uh, we'll say dungeon, we'll stop in Corinth and pick up uh, my Saber. So, yeah, for 45 gold, sure. And I'll get started right away. Sounds good. Um, all right, so let's start selling some things. Steel saber. I believe the top one was the broken one, right? Yes. Um, give me a second. I'm not sure if this is actually a little bit, too, uh, a little bit too loud. Uh, 
I've, I've noticed every one of the, every one of the games that recur tends to it, it, uh, be fine at about 20% to 20 24% we'll say volume on my recording software but for some reason arena it's uh, it's tones just sort of cut through everything and uh, for all I know you haven't been able to hear me at all this whole recording which would be unfortunate but anyways ebony longsword you're gonna give me 5625 gold for it well uh, why don't we bring that up to a, you know a nice even 6,003. <laughs> An even 6,003. No, it's because I want to give myself bartering room. 6,002. No, no, no. No, no. You don't understand. 6,001. And the final offer. 6,000. Close enough. Uh, yes. <laughs> you talked me into it, uh, I guess. Here's your gold. Can I have the ebony longsword now? No. Ha ha ha. I'm keeping it and the gold. Ha ha ha. ha. Alright, fine. You can have it. All right, um, Mark of Wizard's Fire. Let's sell one of these. Oh, no, no, uh, I think I equipped the one with more charges, so let's sell the other one. Uh, 252 gold, how about a nice even 303? No? How about 302? Oh, how about 301? All right, final offer, 300. Sounds good, except. All right, uh, let's go to sell. Heal true. It's probably a really good healing mark, but I want money. I'm greedy. I want my money. Counter 900. Hey, okay. 862. If I do 900 again, hey, I don't even need to lower my, my counters. Let's just keep saying it. Forget. Maybe I'll compromise at 890. All right, sir. So I don't actually have to lower my price at all. I wonder what kind of effect that has. Uh, Braces of Sanctuary. You know what? I don't care. I'll buy myself uh, a Sanctuary potion or a spell, and I'll just buy tons of magic potions to be able to cast it. I don't even remember what he was offering. Um, oh, no. Darn it. I, I was like, I can't remember what he was offering me, so I didn't want to exactly put in, you know, Crystal of Stamina. I'm going to hang on to that sucker. I forgot I even had that. Uh, mark of healing. All right, counter, uh, say 600. 600. Oh, not 699, I meant 600. Good enough. Um, sell... Don't need Wizard's Fire. You know what? Let's get rid of it. I don't, I don't need it. Counter, 300. 300. 300. Good. Uh, Crystal Sanctuary, you know, let's keep the one crystal, but let's get rid of the bracers. So, uh, let's say 1,300. 1,300. And 1,300. Thank you. Uh, let's see here, what else? Bracelet of Willpower, don't want it. Don't need it. We'll say 1,250. 1,250. Tell you what, 1,250. All right, good enough. So, yeah, this is the kind of stuff I was thinking about, you know, just cutting out, because... I don't really necessarily see it as... important. It's just me talking, and basically narrating exactly what I'm doing while talking to an imaginary character. It actually reminds me, I had an interesting thought the other day. Uh, you know, I'm doing a little bit too much thinking right now, give me a second. Crystal Sanctuary. I was like, you know... There's different views on humanity and life. Yes, I'm about to get philosophical while playing arena and selling stuff. Uh, it's, it's just me. Counter 100. 101. Fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just wait. <laughs> I, I'm like, I can't concentrate enough. You know what? That's not even worth bartering for. Or tr trying to counter the price. Uh, I don't need two adamantium uh, amulets, so we'll sell the bottom one. Counter at 1,100. 1,000. And I was like, you know, some some people, uh, what exactly are people? What, 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 what are humans? And it, I guess this kind of came a little bit from that, uh, from playing the Talos Principle, which is an amazing game and everyone should play it, so go play it. Uh, and also play Arena, because Arena is also a great game. 
Uh, don't need that belt. And, uh, you know, basically, our, we're, we're basically problem solving machines. You know, we, we take a, a various uh, different stimuli in, and then we come to, um, you know, conclusions on how to uh, solve these problems, or we, we respond, we react to various uh, sorts of stimuli. Uh, don't need that. Ooh, nice. 3300. Oh, 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 sorry, I meant 3300, not 33,000. And um, I was like, you know what, essentially, if you want to boil it down to like a really simple, really, 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 really simple uh, terms, we are basically series of, you know, parts that basically run, like, we're like basically a computer. You know, our brains, you know, the electrons basically, oh, we got this kind of signal in, the body, the body's sort of wired to respond a certain way, and we respond that way. And uh, I, I was thinking, I'm like, so if we want to define people as simply as that, then could not NPCs and characters within video games actually be an extremely limited yet primitive form of life? If, if you want to look at them as the same sort of, we'll say, problem solving or uh, basic, basic stimuli response creatures as we are. And uh, I'll let that sink in while I sell something here. Uh, mythical bracelet, belt, torque, amulet. I think that's it, eh? Yeah, I think that's it. All right. So I was like, man, because I, I, I don't know about you, but I, I've, I've played games where I've actually felt uh, very, we'll say, guilty for like killing a character in a game. And I thought, you know, well, that's just ridiculous. It's just a game. Uh, but then I, you know, I started thinking about it in, you know, different terms, and I'm like, huh. That's kind of a weird thing to think. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that NPCs are alive and that killing them in a game is murder. Don't, don't, don't get that idea. Um, so my boots are worn. I might want to replace my boots and I'll need some new greaves. Okay. Can I drop anything in here? I want to see if I can just drop that broken saber, because it's just taking up space in my inventory. There we go. Alright. But, uh, you know, it's an interesting thought. You know, if, if we want to just look at things from, from a completely, like, just completely scientific perspective based on, you know, what we are and that, then you, if you want to sort of stretch that definition, you could say that um, we are really killing people in video games. Oh no! I hope Fox News doesn't get a hold of that one. Um, I can't actually remember what I need, uh, what else I need for my character here. It was the boots that were worn, right. I'm sorry, I got distracted. So let's uh, see, I gotta make sure that uh, he sells boots. He does sell boots, so let's sell my boots. Yeah, two gold, whatever. We'll buy a new pair. It's not worth it repairing them. Um, yeah, 15 gold, whatever. Now, a weapon. Let's see if there's anything worth using weapon-wise. Um, short bow staff, short bow silver saber. Can I, can I see the damage it does? It doesn't actually tell me. Uh, wait, seven silver saber. All right, now a silver saber is definitely worth more than a steel saber, but does it actually have a, a, a any better damage? Tell you what, I'll give you a 50, 50 pieces of gold for it. Thanks. Uh, and I think, um, I think we're pretty good. I don't think I need another. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll get the saber. And while we're at it, uh, I'll steal the leather helm and uh, I'll run away. Mwahaha! All right, so we got that um, settled, and uh, I'm going to actually put down repairing. There we go. So now I've got it listed. Repairing. 
Uh, so that way there, when I come back, I know to go back to that shop to pick up my, um, my saber. Now, let's go to the Mage's Guild. That'll be our last stop before we, um, head off elsewhere. Uh, uh no pun intended. Again. Uh, where is the... Mage's Guild. Mage's Guild. Oh, Mage's Guild. I, you know, I should have... Marked it on my map. Oh, there we go. It's right there. I recognize the star shape. It's off to our west. Uh, east. East is right. Sorry. So we'll go this way here. See if there's any new spells. Um, buy obscene amounts of uh, potions that uh, basically make my inventory look like the end game of a JRPG. Uh, I was horrible for that. If you think I'm bad at hoarding now, you should see me play like Final Fantasy VII. Oh my goodness. By the end of... Let me see, the door to the Mages Guild opens with a puff of dust I already spread, all that. Um, by the end, by the end boss, I'm fighting the end boss, and my inventory, I'm, I kid you not, was basically 99 everything. I was like, no, I, and just in case I need that. So I basically just, you know, spammed ethers and basically just ulti ultimate spells and everything to, to the end. It was, uh, it was great, but anyways. Let's go ahead and buy potions. Uh, we want to restore power. How many would you like? I'd like to have another 40. And I'm not paying uh, 3,000. I'm only going to pay 2,500. No, I'm only going to pay 20... Um, no. I said 2,500. Uh, yes. He's giving it to me to me, me 24... Me, uh, uh, let's try that again. He's giving it to me for 2,500. Yes. That is good. It makes me happy. So heal true appears to be a much better uh, than a potion of healing, but I don't normally need a potion. And my health isn't exactly very high, so let's just get myself another 20. Let's counter at 70, uh, 400. 7400. Seven. Uh, yeah, Se 740 is what I'm trying to say. Holy cow, I cannot talk today. I'm a little bit distracted because my phone rang and I know, it, or I know I'm going to need to... Um, take a look at it uh, just in case I'm gonna get one potion of invisibility just to get myself out of a tight spot in case I don't know if I don't already have one uh, so these are basically the, the real ones I need I don't really need resist fire cold or shock because I've got my um, uh, spellbreaker light um, let's see do you have any awesome items so we've got uh, Ebony Belt, Braces of Passwall, an Adamantium Belt. I think I've already got one of those, don't I? Crystal of Levitation. Will that allow me to levitate? <gasps> I just thought about that. Levitate. When I was in, when I was in front of the door, um, remember when I in the dungeon, when I put, took out part of the floor, and I was in front of that door, and I couldn't get through because it was... Um... There we go, I'll quit my stuff. Uh, it was, um, there was, there was no floor there, and I couldn't open the door. Oh, I picked up a leather helm. I should have sold that. Anyways. No real advantage in damage. Um, I have a, a levitation spell, do I not? Levitate. Because you can float for five. I could have floated over the gap and opened the door. Okay, well, I know for next time now that I can use uh, levitates to, you know, stuff. Uh, potions. I just thought of one more thing. Potion of stamina. Let's grab a couple of these. But <laughs> a couple, I'm like 20. Listen, I've got money I c to burn here. I could just... Um, I've got tons of cash, so I don't really need to uh, grab anything else. So let's steal a magic item. I got a mark of curse. Very good. And uh, I will leave now. Time to save the game. All right, so we've saved the game. We're equipped, I think. I don't believe I've forgotten anything. I hope to goodness I did not forget anything. So I think it's about time we consult our map and go find this place up in Skyrim where the Ogmonfinium is said to be held. I think it was... Uh, let's see, that's the Cavern of Vermin Lot. And the Fortress of Ice. So I know I've done Fortress of Ice, and I know I've done the Labyrinthian, so it must be this one here. So let's head to Falkreath. Well, that name brings back some memories. Wait, that's kind of funny. 
the name brings back memories of a game that... Ca Anyways, let's go to Falkreath, or let's just go straight to the Cavern of Vermonlaunt. Uh, that's going to take us 39 days, so my sword will be repaired definitely by the time we get back. Uh, I probably could have paid him less and just told him to take his time. Oh well. So 39 days later. I'm going to check my journal, make sure I'm in the right place. Um... Ca yeah, there it is. The map to the Ogmon Finium lies... That's only the map to it! Darn it! Lies in the cavern of Vermonloth, somewhere in the province of Skyrim. Well, this is where we are now, so we're gonna save this as Elexis Dunyon. So that's 41, which is the next number that comes after 40. And, uh, there's already something around the corner killing me, so let's, um, kill it before I actually say my ending spiel. I hate ghouls! Darn it! I hope this is not a dungeon full of ghouls. Because that will ruin my day. I will be un unhappy. I should have got a decent, um... Um... Damage spell. Like a, like a, a little nuke. There we go. Alright, so I'd like to thank you so much for joining me once more. I uh, apologize, I was, you know, just sort of running around town, but... Um, you know, had some thoughts to share, and... We, we bought some stuff, and... We are now going to basically be sort of taking a side quest to search for the Ogmon Finium, which is a, an, an artifact uh, in the game, uh, before we continue on, uh, you know, searching for the other pieces of the Staff of Chaos. So I'd like to thank you so much for watching, and until next time, game on!